Hi traders, it's Roberto. This is uh, another tutorial on using confluence of indicators. In this case, um, strong currencies. Looking for strong single currency, and I'm trading a small account here, as you see on Xenia, testing this uh, account. Just uh, so you can see what it looks like on a smaller account size, and I'm a little bit more aggressive. I'm, I'm trading 0.1 lot, which is over leveraged. But I just wanted to show you how powerful trades can be if you just wait for the right opportunity, wait for currencies that are strong, lining up with weak currencies. And right now, I'm looking at the weakness of the New Zealand dollar. So here on the upper right hand corner, I've got. Euro New Zealand it's broken it's breaking a major support level so this is like a breakout trade uh, Aussie New Zealand the Aussie is strong against the New Zealand so here we have a morning star on a four hour chart and the first target is this uh, the 14 moving average line which is here and the other one is pound New Zealand okay Pound New Zealand, we have a nice morning star, and again, using trying to find the weak currencies and pair them up with a strong currency. The Australian dollar is strong against the New Zealand dollar, the euro is strong across the board, so that was the best choice so far. And so, Pound New Zealand, Aussie New Zealand, and Euro New Zealand. So I'll come back in a couple of hours and see where we are with these trades. Okay guys, here is uh, about a half an hour, well not even a half an hour later and the New Zealand dollar continues to sell off. Again, it's just finding pairs or single currency that are either strong or weak and then pairing up with another one so um, I'm up quite a bit and the market will retrace at one point before it goes back up but so far we're doing so good we're up 28 37 pips on three pairs Aussie New Zealand continues to rally Euro New Zealand Euro New Zealand is actually a breakout trade and this should continue. This is now the support level. It's no longer resistance. When it comes back down, it, it should hit this level and bounce off and go back up. Okay. So that's it for the tutorial on correlated pairs. Very powerful to trade this way because when you do see a strong currency across the board, it'll break support and resistance level it'll blow right through it um, looking at a single per currency like the euro dollar very difficult you don't have enough information to trade so you need to be looking at several pairs to determine the overall direction of a single currency so you can determine strength or weakness just by looking at several pairs and in this illustration we were looking at Pound New Zealand, Aussie New Zealand, and Euro New Zealand. Okay? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next trading session.